Hi guys, we are here in Manila, Philippines. And uh, like a lot of metropolitan cities here in Southeast Asia, they have a lot of 7-Elevens here. So, in today's episode, I thought it'd be fun to show you guys what it's like to eat at 7-Elevens here in Manila. Hold on, why can't you stay a little longer? You got me, got me going under. I'm a weak child. Love on, you got me high like Uh, toasties. Ham and cheese. Yeah, ham yeah. and cheese toasty. Tuna. Tuna. Yeah. Sausage. Sausage. Oh, the pepperoni. Oh, that looks good. Huh. Yeah, I see the pepperoni. Two like, pepperoni. Yeah, perfect. Dumplings. What is this? Uh, yeah. Banga steak. And then also have some of these uh, little like TV dinners kind of thing. Oh, here, yeah, let's try some sisig. There you go. They have some oh, bibimbap there. Chicken barbecue. Lechon. Yeah, let's get try the lechon. Why not? Chicken teriyaki, tuna mayo. We have salmon mayo. Yeah, I like tuna mayo. It's one of my favorite. Anyways guys, they also have uh, cream milk here, banana, uyu, also melon uyu. Of course they have the Slurpee, the mixed fruit and peach mango. I'm not familiar with the popularity of snacks here in Philippines, so you guys gotta let me know what is a popular snack here for chips. Oh, well, you know what? Let's try these ketchup fries. Interesting. Look at that, guys. They also have soju back here, too. And also all the traditional things you need for 7 Eleven. So they have the classic cheese. They also have bacon cheese. They have spicy. And then they also have some shopao. I the chicken asado here. Take some lemonade. And you have some coffee, tea, milk tea. So they have all these items here, but they don't start until after lunch. Take out. Here. So if you get something to eat, they'll heat up for you. Also, they have the toasty toaster here as well. Look at the press. Oh my gosh, guys. She gave us silverware. <laughs> That's all nice. So they heated up for us. I'm pretty much like making it, right? And then they uh, provided a tray with silverware. That's awesome. All right, and this is everything that we got for our meal. We got some lechon. Oh, there's some rice in there. Look at that, beautiful. Also, we got some seasick. I gotta admit guys, seasick is one of my favorite things, Filipino foods. And then we also got uh, shopao. And then also we got the toasted sandwich, which has uh, two cheese and pepperoni. Wow. We got onigiri, tuna mayo, one of my favorite. And then we got some french fries that are ketchup french fries. And um, what's that one thing in Japan that I like? That's like this? The kalbi? Mm -hmm. Kalbi? Yagariko. Okay, that's whatever she said. So that's one thing I like here. The kalbi brand of the uh, french fries that are like chips. We are here in 7-Eleven and um, we had to move from outside to inside because it's a little bit dark out there. All right, what we're gonna start with here is we're gonna start with the toasted sandwich. It's a 7-Eleven sandwich. It has uh, two cheese and also pepperoni. And uh, oh, look at that. So they toasted it up for us, really nice. Like a panini press. Take a look inside. You got the pepperoni in there, got the cheese in there, the sauce. Mm. Wow, this is good. This is like a pizza. Pepperoni, cheese. And this, once they toast this, it tastes like a hot pocket. Really good that way. Mm. If you get this, make sure to toast it. Don't take it home and microwave it. Toast it, it's really good. It's a cucumber lemonade. 
and uh, had this the other day and I really enjoyed it. So got another one. Mm. Oh yeah, it's refreshing. Really clean, refreshing drink. Love it. All right, now we're gonna move on to Chopin. Let me show you guys this. Of course, take the paper off. All right, open this up and see how it looks inside. And this is chicken asado. Mmm, chicken asado in here is really good. Wow. Of course, the found steamed bun, really soft. Oh, great flavor. Really nice here, 7 Eleven. They have a little bit area here, they can sit in the cafeteria, so you can order the food, they'll cook it for you, and you can eat inside here, so really nice air, con air conditioning. Also, they, they provide the sauce packets. I don't know what the sauce packet is, but let's open it up and try it with the Chopin. Put the sauce on here. It says it's a uh, Chopin sauce, so I guess let's pour this. Hmm, a little bit sweet, a little bit of vinegar, but I don't think I need sauce on here, but because it's inside filling, really good asado. Well, nice. I feel like I'm in a restaurant. <laughs> Got the silverware. It's just like ground meat. The sauce, but the meat's ground up, very fine. See. Mmm. The seasoning is a lot more fine, but the flavor is very intense. It has that pork flavor, has a little bit of spice flavor, the oily, fatty flavor. I think this is under a dollar for this. So it's like TV dinner for under a dollar. Mmm. Right on. Mm, really good. Next, we're gonna try the lechon. This looks really exciting, guys. Wow, oh my goodness, look at that. That looks amazing. That looks so good. All right, this is it. We have the lechon with the garlic rice, guys. And this lechon looks legit. It looks like you can see the fat as well as the meat layer combining. I'm gonna put that with a little bit of garlic rice here, guys, and get myself a nice bite. Look at this, this looks amazing. And this TV dinner is under $2 for big pieces of lechon. Look at that. This is no joke. This is actual pieces of lechon in there. Mm. This would be my go-to. I know CC is one of my favorite, but also like Chun is one of my favorite things to get here in the Philippines. And if I was busy going out 7 Eleven, grab a bite to eat, I'd pick this up. This is really good. And also the garlic rice. Oh the garlic rice, the chun, the fattiness, the sauciness. Oh, combine that together in one bite. Guys, this is ridiculous. Wow. Last I heard, there's almost 3,800 7 11s here in the Philippines. And um, it's getting a lot of popularity. They actually built more uh, last year in 2023. So, but here you go. The menu of the Philippines here in 7 Eleven. Okay, moving on, guys. We, of course, I told you, whenever I go to 7 Eleven, I'm always getting onigiri. So, here you go onigiri, tuna mayo, one of my favorites. Gotta get it. Give it a go. Believe it or not, the onigiri here is different from that of the other um, in Thailand or um, in Japan. Here, the, they use a little bit less mayo, it looks like. And also, the rice is a little bit different in terms of texture and flavor, but still good. Still tastes good. I still buy this. Mm. Now, Suggestion for 7-Eleven here in the Philippines. Make a lechon onigiri or sisig onigiri. Then I'd be really happy. <laughs> I love that, really. Also, I noticed that the seaweed has a little saltiness to it. Like they brush something onto it. So it's not the pure onigiri. Yeah, it's like a seasoned um, seaweed. It's not a typical seaweed that, roasted seaweed that we get. But the flavor of the saltiness adds a little bit more flavor too. Because the rice, you need to have some saltiness to add the flavor to the rice. So having that the saltiness of the seaweed, actually is pretty good. The final item is the french fry chips. Alright, let's give these a go. It has a little different flavor than traditional ketchup. But as for the chips, a little crunchy. I like the chips. 
I think I probably like it more or less of that ketchup flavor. But the ketchup flavor is really kind of um a little strong. <clears throat> a little too strong maybe. But well, they are ketchup fries, so well yeah, not bad. So you guys gotta let me know, is this really popular here in the Philippines? Alright guys, now it's time for dessert. Look at all these donuts. Mr. Donut. Oh, they have the coffee uh, cream donut. Also, that looks really good too. Is that ube? That looks like ube filling there. Mm. What? Butternut. Butternut. Yeah, butternut. Oh, this is Bavarian cream, strawberry. What is this one here? I love a matcha crumble. Yeah, I love a matcha crumble. Okay, we have the dessert and we got a couple different things. We have the, uh, is it cocoa crumble? It's a cocoa butternut crumble. And then we have also, I think it's a ube um, kind of cream filling. And of course, then we have the matcha ice cream cone. And ice cream cone, we're gonna go ahead and start first because it's gonna probably melt. So let's go ahead and try this. No, it's really good. Great matcha flavor. Also, I think the ice cream has a little bit of matcha in it too. And also we have some nuts on top here. Mm. This is really good. Great flavor, a little sweetness. Not overpowering matcha flavor, so. Yeah, this is the one I'd give you. Really good. So I'm a big fan of Mr. Donut get it in Japan now. I'm trying it for the first time here in the Philippines. Let's give it a go. Mm. You can never go wrong with donut for dessert. Donut, my number one go-to right here. Let me get some of the cream. Mm. Now, cream is very mild flavor, but not bad. Little things of cream. There's just little bits of cream. They just inject a little bit oh. in the spots. So it's not in the whole entire donut. Just a little bit of spot here, here, and here. Uh huh. Okay, this is a different one. I've never heard of this one before. Cocoa butter nut crunch? I think that's what it said. Anyways, let's give it a go. Mm. This is a very dense donut. So it's more like a cake donut, not too airy. Also, the cocoa comes from the coconut um, chocolate flavor of the donut. It's actually a chocolate donut. And I'm thinking the butternut crunch is supposed to be the outside, this orange stuff on the outside. But the stuff on the outside, it really doesn't have much flavor. So I really taste like more or less a chocolate donut meaty. It's always nice to see 7-Elevens in different parts of the world. So this is our experience here at 7-Eleven here in the Philippines. Okay guys, that is our time at the 7-Elevens here in the Philippines. Now, you know, when coming to the Philippines, we had to make sure to stop by the 7-Eleven and see what was different from that of the other 7-Elevens we visited. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always guys, I appreciate your support and we'll see you back in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.